Hey everybody, welcome back. On the 1st of December, I got an email inviting me to bid on some Apple computers that were down in California. So I did what I do and started reviewing the items. The auction listing included these three pictures along with a description that read 13 Power Mac G5 A1047s, 8 Mac Studio displays, 1 iMac 20 inch, and 7 iMac 27 inches. The first thing that caught my eye was the description said there was supposed to be 7 27 inch iMacs. However, as you can see, the pictures revealed they were actually 27 inch Thunderbolt displays. I actually got excited about this because 27 inch Thunderbolt display monitors are getting increasingly hard to come by. The second thing that stood out was how extremely dirty they all were. But I thought to myself, hey, if I can get a good enough deal, I'll go ahead and buy them. So one thing led to another. I won the auction, paid for it, and boarded a plane to California. And this is how it went. I had to be at the airport by 7.30, so I grabbed a lift and headed out. I made it to Salt Lake International Airport. It's nice, bright, and early, 7.30 a.m. I didn't even know that I could wake up this early. I made it to L.A. Just picked up my rental car. Now I'm gonna head over, meet with the people, and pick up the computers I won. But first, I gotta stop and have me some Jack in the Box. Now to get back on the road so I can hurry up and pick these things up and head back home. I made it, but before I started to load the computers, I needed to take a few minutes and convert this Chrysler Pacifica into a cargo van. On the computers, should I bring my vehicle this way or? Okay, and I make YouTube videos. I won't put. I won't make you a star. No, no, uh, <laughs> tell my daughters because they're yeah. always like wanting to create YouTube videos. So I'm gonna be like, yeah. Yeah, that's. Follow me and like, right? Yes, all subscribe right. and all that stuff. Yeah. Some people are just like, why is this guy walking around with a big camera on his chest? Say hi to the camera. I told her I make YouTube videos. I'm not trying to catch anybody doing anything. So. <laughs> As I started to load the computers, I noticed there was some water on the top. But upon further inspection, it was just on the top couple computers. No big deal just as I suspected from the beginning, the 27 inch iMacs were actually 27 inch Thunderbolt displays, which again, I'm 
super happy for. But it turns out there was actually two 27 inch IMAX in the lot. So it was nice to get those as well. After clearing off the top couple monitors, I noticed a big stack of keyboards. None of these were mentioned on the ad, but they're a great added bonus, even though they're extremely dirty and is going to take a lot of time to clean. When I got down to the towers, I quickly noticed that not all 13 of them were PowerMac G5s. In fact, two of the towers are 2010 Mac Pro models, which as you probably know, are worth a lot more money than the PowerMac G5. So yet another surprise that benefits me in the trip to California.
Do I need to sign anything for you? Yeah. Now I gotta go back and take them all apart and see what needs to be done to them. The towers are probably perfectly fine. Looks like there was some water on some of them, which yes won't cause much of an issue as long as i leave it unplugged for a while and perfect yep thank you you as well now for the 10 hour drive back i will thank you and now in true movie fashion form i'm gonna do a cheesy montage of me driving back to utah from California. Utah at about three o'clock in the morning and immediately ran to my bedroom and passed out. That's going to do it for this video. In upcoming videos I'm going to go over in detail the items that I bought, also what needs to be done to them in order to get them ready to resell. So make sure to take a second, slam that subscribe button, turn notifications on, and I'll see you next time.